feet, but we tell you what's up. So let's jump into the calendar for this upcoming week. So today, the 31st, it's Halloween. It's pretty awesome. Uh, November 1st, Thursday, there's FFA leadership, uh, volleyball region tournament at 6 p.m. And then it's Alex Walner and Colby Vanderwerf's birthday. Birthday, so. Uh, um, Friday, November 2nd, is our ACT test registration for December 8th. That's the deadline. And there's enhancement and football playoffs. Uh, Saturday, there's elementary uh, girls basketball and boys basketball at JVC. Uh, Monday, uh, the four, Monday the 5th, there's district oral and terp and elementary girls basketball and boys basketball at JVC. What is going on? That's Sunday. No, she put the arrows down. Oh. And it's also Presley Bringer's birthday. Tuesday the 6th is volleyball first round of Sweet 16. And we have, also have a financial aid night. That's for the seniors to come in and learn about, okay. and their parents about financial aid. And then it is also Emma Schultz's birthday. Wednesday the 7th, it's Briar Close's birthday. And then Thursday to Saturday, football championships of Vermillion. There's also elementary boys basketball, girls basketball. So that's the calendar. So Trajan, you have some volleyball stats for the people? I do. We played last night against Castlewood for our first round region game. We lost in five. Um, for kills, Dannon and Elizabeth Solman both had 11. Cassidy Johnson had eight and Dawson Otto had six. For serving aces, Trajan Flea had three, Cassidy Johnson had two, and Liz, Kennedy, and Dannon both all had one. For digs, the leading digger was Liz with 38, Trajan Flea with 29, and Kennedy Enid with 26. Tough loss, but played hard. And that marked the end of your season, correct? Yep. So it was a good season for the girls. Uh, they played well all season, and uh, you know, time to you know, look forward to the future. So uh, let's hop into our interviews with the elementary students. Okay. Hi, I'm Peyton Nelson. I'm here with Samuel Puffer. How are you doing? Good. What are you doing in the school today? Um, reading. That's good. What uh, book are you reading? Uh, uh, cupcake party. Ooh, cupcakes are good. So you know Halloween is this week, right? Yeah. What are you dressing up as? A snow commander. A snow commander. What's your favorite candy? Candy corn. Candy corn is good. All right, thanks, buddy. Over to you. Hi, I'm Amanda Holzel, and I'm with Jacob Haig. Hi, how are you? Good. How's school going today? Good. What are you doing? Um... Reading, math, phonics. Oh, you're doing phonics? Fun. Um, what are you going to be for Halloween? Luke Skywalker. Ooh, good choice. What's your favorite candy? Mm. Starburst. Fun. <laughs> Over to Dawson. Hi, my name is Dawson Otto. I'm here with Michael. How are you, Michael? Good. Uh, how's school going? Good. What are you learning today? Math. What kind of math? Ratios and rates. Sounds fun. What are you going to dress up as Halloween for Halloween? Grim Reaper. That's pretty scary. What's your favorite candy? Hershey's almonds. Wow. Uh, what do you do at recess? Just really walk around. Play with a preschooler named Luke. Cool. Sounds fun. Back to you guys. Thank you for those interviews with the elementary kids. So now we have four All-State Choir participants head down to Rapid City this past weekend for the All-State uh, Choir, which was Daniel Wright, Brianna Garrett, uh, Elliot Hartford, and Jed Waldner. So here is Trajan with her interview with them. Um, hi, I'm Trajan Flea, and I'm here with the All-State Choir kids. So what were some things you got to do at All-State? Well, first we got to actually sing, and we had a... Um, spot check to do, and somehow we passed that miraculously. Uh, we got to go swimming at the motel after we got back really late at like 9 o'clock. 
We got to have lots of different foods. Got to see Rapid City a little bit. Uh, we got to take a picture with Phillips Juan. <laughs> cool. Um, so what was your favorite memory from Austin? State? I, I, I don't know. It's just I like that we um, actually took a picture with Phillips Juan, the director. He's a pretty cool guy himself. Uh, probably the singing or the swimming. Probably the bonding between all four of us. Yeah, I agree. I think the bonding between all of us. Well, thank you guys, and hope you guys get to go next year. Yep. Right. All right, back to you. <laughs> Thanks, Trajan. Um, so now we're going to go talk to our FFA kids, which was Kyle Hamilton and Keen Bottom. They got to go to National FFA in Indianapolis. Indianapolis. So it's over to Peyton with that interview. Hi, I'm Peyton Nulls. I'm here with uh, Kyle and Caden. So you guys attended the National FFA Convention in Indianapolis. How was that? It was a lot of fun. There was a lot of things to do, and I'd love to go again. It was a lot of good experiences, and I'd definitely do it again. Uh, what were some of the stuff you did down there at the convention? Well, they had a large convention center, which had hundreds upon hundreds of different vendors and advertisers and different companies. <clears throat> there was a lot of free stuff. Um, they also had some talks about what they do, the companies, like one example is Corteva. Uh, there was Case IH, John Deere. Um, They're trying to tell our generation more and get more involved with agriculture and their products. Um, we got to see the national officers, which are the best people out of the whole nation. We got to watch them do everything they need to do, I guess, in the ceremonies. Uh, what was your favorite memory of the convention? Probably, there we, were, we traveled on a bus to Indianapolis with about 50 other kids, and I think that riding the bus was not fun, but just getting to know the kids and making new friends and learning about other people from around the country and what they do with agriculture. I'd say it's probably one of my best memories. My best memory is probably meeting all the new people from different states and hearing all their different accents. And you also got to see a, what country was it? It was uh, Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks, and you saw Donald Trump speak too, right? Well, we didn't get to see Donald Trump. They only allowed 7,000 people there. The night before, there was 67,000 people. So. We didn't get a ticket to watch him speak, but when we got home, I actually watched him. And about the last 30 minutes of his speech, that I thought that was pretty good. He talked about FFA and all that, and it was good. And Garth Brooks, that was awesome. Yeah, Garth Brooks is pretty good. All right, well, thanks, boys. Thank you for the interview, Payne. So that marks the end of this week's edition of HETV. Remember, to be awesome, not average.